Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge, here to review some Arsenal action as Arsenal wins 2-1 away! My god, what a rarity, brilliant. Let's talk about this match. First half, really not much to say. There were lackluster moments on Arsenal defense, I mean, but uh, come on, is, is that really fucking new? But at least Arsenal was able to leak the fucking holes in that defense in the first half. And then, crazy thing about the second half is we come out gunning. You know, Xhaka gets a goal in from the free kick line. You know, he, he, he gets it from the free kick. And this was probably about 25 to 30 yards out from the box. And really, it was superb. And, and to be fair, to be fair though, that goalkeeper should have had a hand on it. The... Newcastle United goalkeeper should have absolutely had a hand on it. There is, it's a great goal by Shaka, but the goalkeeper should have had that. And unfortunately, Newcastle's error just just kept continuing. A couple minutes later, you know, you get an open chance from from a fucking great pass uh, pass play that was developing on the left hand side. And the ball, I believe, was from uh, I don't know if it was from Xhaka. But it, was from, it was, went from Xhaka, which deflected off of Lacazette, and from that deflection, Mesut Ozil, wide open, gets the fucking ball in, scores the goal on his 200th appearance, so congratulations to Mesut Ozil, who, yes, he gets a lot of criticisms, but here's the reality of Mesut Ozil. This guy's a transcendent player. Yes, he can be a bit lazy in terms of body language at times, but he can transform the game. And we, we saw it here today. There's little subtle body movements that he makes that creates open spaces that makes the players better in terms of how they perform. Well, unfortunately, uh, you know, Arsenal just loves to give their, you know, supporters heart heartache. And so defense kind of prolapses at the worst possible moment, the last, last few minutes of the match. And for Arsenal to come out of Newcastle alive with three points, it says a lot. It really does say a lot. I mean, defense kind of goes without saying where we still need drastic improvements. I don't know if it's a rhythm. I don't know if it's a personnel. I really don't know what it is. I, I just think this defense needs to do something different. Every fucking match we come in, I, I honestly wonder, will we have that crazy moment when we finally have a fucking clean sheet this season? I say no. This defense isn't really going to get their shit done. In terms of offense, I think it's looking great. I think offense is looking pretty fantastic in terms of how much pressure we're putting on the defensive lines um, You know, in, in matches where defense looks kind of perplexed when we start doing the fucking triangle pass. You know, from one, one fucking winger to the inside midfielder to the attacker and just this fucking crazy pass formation that goes on. And so if Arsenal can't keep at this, you know, really this kind of drive, it should be fine. But ultimately, with Arsenal, what happens is lackluster defense, players don't get back on time, and it's just this, this arrogance that comes with this fucking football style. I don't know what it is. Players just feel like, oh, hey, I just kind of did my job. I'll just trot forward. No, motherfucker, you didn't just completely do your job. You left it half fucking finished. So I challenge and I implore Arsenal players to challenge themselves. To not just settle for, you know, decent fucking, you know, kicks out to the fucking left flank. Challenge each other. Get better. Get better on defense. Get more aware. Stop the fucking ball from coming in. Maybe don't drop back two fucking defenders on one fucking guy when another guy's coming in full throttle. Maybe that shit. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm just one guy, and I have opinions. That's really it. I think Arsenal, as great as we can win, there are glaring spots in this fucking line right now. And I'm, I'm not suggesting... Unai Emery is doing a bad job. I think Unai Emery, with what he has, is doing a terrific job. I think he's trying to implement a system that should work long term. However, my whole complaint comes down to the players. Are the players doing their due diligence to make the system work? To create a culture that will win? I don't know. I really want to see, by the end of December, I really want to see how the players will react. How the players gather themselves together to really push forth. Right? And... You know, as pessimistic as I sounded, I really said, you know, if Arsenal goes above sixth place, finishes above quarterfinal finishes in all cup competitions, I think this is a great, this is a great season. Because for me, 
I don't see them finishing above six. I don't see them finishing above anything else in the quarterfinals. And this is just me. This is me all, all on a personal level. But again, if Arsenal can prove, player-wise, player personal wise if they can prove that they want this, they want to win, they want to be here, I think Arsenal can have a good season. But as of right now, body language, just the way players you know, act on defense, I just don't know. I just don't know yet. So... We'll have to see, but hey, a win is a win is a win. We are about seventh on the table, about three or two goal differential behind from Tottenham. So we're still on the same level, but hey, let's just keep this shit going. Keep grinding out. Let me know what you guys think. Follow me at the Sky Lounge, you know, on all the links in the description below for more shit. Comment and subscribe and like for more daily fucking content, motherfuckers. And until next time.